Video games aren't fun anymore. Are video games still fun? <laughs> video games in 2022 were not designed to be fun. The year is 2021, and it feels like games just aren't fun anymore. Multiplayer games suck. I grew up playing video games. It has become increasingly common to hear the phrase, I just don't find games fun anymore. Video games aren't the same anymore. Why aren't video games fun anymore? <laughs> So, remember, remember when games used to be fun? Do you these days find yourself stuck thinking, do I even want to play any of these? There's a really good separate video on the subject that you can see here, but this here is my own take on it in my usual short format, maybe a bit longer. Let's get into the separate arguments that I have picked out. 1. Games are no longer fun to play. Now this has many leads and separate topics attached to it, I'll get to that, but let's deal with this here. Yeah, it's very likely that games are no longer fun to play, and there is some to it. People grow up. Part of this is just built off of nostalgia, perhaps I can bring an example. You miss the late nights, you miss when it's 2am and you and your friends are chatting on Skype and playing games like RuneScape, Minecraft, or COD. You miss being younger and the simpler life of having no responsibility, just doing all-nighters and eating Dorito chips. That do anything? I think it would. To be honest, although it has a broad example I tried to make, it even touches me a little bit. I miss being a kid, I miss the simplicity, and yeah. But escape is for some reason more difficult these days, and that brings us to the next argument. 2. Games aren't fun, because they aren't made to be fun anymore. Now this here is a more often brought up conversation argument. Games now are made to make money. Just force it out every single penny as they can. It's not too often that you can find a game that's just there for the arts, and yeah. But the thing is, games take several hours, days, years to make. And that doesn't make the argument hard to describe as a generalization. I have bad news, but this is the most often a complaint from people who play AAA games. Get on indie. Find something new, something experimental, something that will be a remarkable experience. Here, I'll give you something to start with. Here are some lower end games that got into the mainstream for being good. Here are some niche ones. Are you an artist? How about some uh, games to fuel your creativity? Such art. A game built around art itself with a very good simulation of paint and a story that changes based on your choices. Fun, remember, interesting. There's also an option for old games. But most people aren't playing on supporting good games for being good straight off. You need to start with yourself. There's a lot of pressure these days for what counts as happy and uh, I enjoy peace. I don't even smile all the time, but I'm happy. People have a default state of happiness and that state is unfortunately low. The human body never cared about keeping you happy, it cared about keeping you alive. Let's get to the next point, shall we? 3. Games are boring. A lot of games come down to a simple looping of continuing actions over and over. Games such as Pokemon catch and grind till you're a high level, beat the gym, then uh, do it again until you beat the game. Or, in other games, it's too realistic. And now, due to that, the time between action is too long. Well, for the latter argument, just play different games. But for the first, this is a question. What kind of cycle do you like? Sorry to tell you, buddy, but everything is a cycle. That's life. And it, as it is, there's no media that is without one. Any story has a start. Problem, solve, sometimes an extra problem, and then end, repeat. Any game has a goal, grind, and a greater goal. 
obviously not in the same way in each game but you get it find a game that fits you doesn't need to be perfect i'm in some games for the stupid challenges and sometimes for peace games are like are games like animal crossing and monster hunter or cyberpunk on hard mode which if you didn't know has enemies that can hit you through walls maybe i should make a video about it very infuriating but i had fun actually i'd like to add an extra topic four what is fun being here let's ask what the fuck it even is what's a game supposed to be a game is a basic tool to waste time it has no advantages to you playing it it just gives you something to do while time goes by in all reality, the games of today offer so much, new worlds to conquer. Explore. Learn. Just destroy the ever loving heck out of it. <laughs> eh, but if the games are the problem, so be it. Just make some tea, talk to someone. If you haven't noticed by now, a big problem with this subject is that often it's not actually the game's fault for not being fun for you. Sometimes you might just need a break or play a different game. Either way, uh, that smells really good. You should go drink that tea. Goddamn. Anyways, where was it going? Yeah. Goddamn it. Go drink that tea. <laughs> <laughs>